Hello, in this problem we're going to prove that the product of even functions is even. Let's go ahead and go through the proof. So proof. We'll start by writing down our hypothesis that we have two even functions. So suppose that we have two functions. Let's give them names. Suppose that f and g are even functions. Our goal is to show that the product f times g is also even. So now the next thing we can do is we can write down what it means for these functions to be even. So this means, well, a function is even if whenever you plug in minus x, you just get back f of x. And this has to be true for all values of x. This is for all x. So this is what it means for f to be even. And we also assumed that g was even. So that means that g of negative x is equal to g of x. And this is also true for all x. OK, so we've written down our hypothesis. And then we did another step. We wrote down what it actually meant. So that's very typical in proofs. You, know, you write down your assumption, and then you write down what your assumption means. right? So f and g are even. What does that mean? OK, now we need to think about where we're going. So I'm going to go back up here outside of the proof and, and just think a little bit. We're trying to show the product is even. So what is the product? Well, the product of two functions, f and g, is denoted by fg. And how is it defined? Well, fg of an element x is defined as f of x times g of x. So you just multiply them. But this is the actual notation you use for the product. OK, so now let's just go ahead and look at that product. We need to show that it is even. So we need to replace this value of x with negative x and see what happens. So then fg of an element negative x is equal to f of negative x times g of negative x. But we know something about f of negative x. It's equal to f of x. And that's because f is even. It's also right here. Boom. And this piece here, g, is equal to g of x. And that's because g is even. And it's also right here. Boom. But just for extra clarity, I'll say this is because f and g are even. This is the key step. And this is precisely the definition of the product. So fg of x. And this is true for all x. Right? There was no restriction on x. Right? Everything here is true for all x. This shows that f times g is even. So this shows fg is even. And that completes the proof. We started with two functions that were even, and we showed that the product fg is also an even function. So we've completed our proof. I hope this video is helpful. Good luck.